singing Enter Sandman to himself at the center circle, ready for the tip. He seems fired up for this game, and he wins the tip dramatically, knocking it back to Clemson's Chase Hunter. Man-to-man -man defense, and one of the matchups to keep your eye on are the two best three-point shooters in the league, and Hunter Couture and Joe Girard. That'll be a matchup to keep your eye on. They're guarding each other. They try to run offense at him and make him move his feet and defend. The starting five for Clemson, a very experienced backcourt, Gerard and Hunter, Wiggins Hall, and then Sheplin, who's got the first two buckets. To see Clemson start their offense from the inside out. They've got to build it on the interior. They've got the size and the length on the front line as an advantage to start the game. Padula bangs in a three. Here is Hall being guarded by Kidd. Chase Hunter a pull up. And Clemson starts three for three on the road. How you run the tempo of your team and manage your team, and he's done a good job of that all season so far. Virginia Tech, the eighth best offensive team in the ACC by adjusted efficiency. They get it inside to Kidd. He scores over his former teammate. Sean Padula crossing Hunter, lost it on the way up. Kidd is there to retrieve it. And Lynn Kidd, who scored just two points. It's a Virginia Tech team that lost 77-74 Saturday at Florida State. They got a big performance from this young man, though, Padula. Six to shoot for the Syracuse transfer, Joe Girard. Big three-point shooter, weaves into the lane, finds an open Shefflin, and he buries it from deep. It's total in the game Saturday against North Carolina. They were one for 18. That one left short by Padula. Nobody really chased it for Clemson. So Barron has the offensive rebound. And then Barron is rewarded. Even with a one and two start, they're in a very good shape right now early in January. I mean, the greatest snub of the tournament was going 14 and six in the league and not getting in. Gets it in the hall, who is yet to score. That remains the case, but Cheplin grabs it. Blocked by Kidd from behind. A rare block shot for Virginia Tech, which runs the floor with Padula. And he drains a three, his second of the game. Now the Hokies last year did not make it 19 and 15, 8 and 12 in the league. That's Dylan Hunter off the bench for a three. The younger brother of Chase hits his seventh three of the year. Clemson just two for nine since a three for three start. Hunter. With a good find, that's R.J. Godfrey, the sophomore, seven point per game scorer off the bench. Unusual not to see Coach Young with the popcorn before the game. We probably will have to get some before it's over because I think everybody <laughs> sitting to our right and left has popcorn right now. It was great, that was his thing and he's not doing it anymore. And Only when legends like you, Kevin. Well, there you go. So you recalled all of our previous broadcasts, we were saying <laughs> all zero of them. Here's Nickel. And Virginia Tech, which had been cold from three, gets a triple from Nickel, the North Carolina transfer. J.J. Reddick. Grant Hill on there as well. Mac McClung was second, and that's the company that Tyler Nickel keeps. There's a three for Chase Hunter, the redshirt senior. Tigers three for five from deep. Hokies are four for eight. The freshman Rex Steiner leans in and pumps home a basket. Hall for three. And there, the first bucket of the game for P.J. Hall, nearly halfway through the first. There's a lot that can happen that's good for Clemson when he sticks triples. 35% from out there, Hall. Here's Kidd. Missed the mid-range shot. It's cleaned up by Long. Look at the ball pressure by Virginia Tech. Nickel off the steal. Nickel flushes. Locked in, connected team defense. Tips, deflections, steals, and then the run out. Nickel with a flush. Mike Young's team brought to practice yesterday. Padula hits the deck and still that's, active hands. Couture is on the floor. That's the kind of plays I'm talking about. Padula sets up Nickel. He drills it. And then the dive on the floor, the hustle plays that we were talking about, Kevin. Run the floor, find the three-point shooter. He's already eight inches shorter than his defender, Wiggins. Getting manhandled as well, but it ended up as a Virginia Tech turnover. Hall steps out, strokes his second three. Linebacker. Yeah, brother Granite, Kentucky. How do you think they would have liked that form? <laughs> what if they... Maybe a little high on the tackle. Kid spinning. Got to the right hand beautifully. 
Here's Couture. Has an impact of the game much offensively, but he sets up Nickel. Couture's got his first assist, and Tyler Nickel has 11 points on four shots. I'll tell you what, Wiggins has done a good job on Couture because he's uh, locking trail off that pin down action, and that's a lot of length on that curl for Hunter. Gerard bounce feed for Godfrey into the body of Long, and RJ Godfrey finishes at the rim. Hunter does not have numbers. Mouse in the house. The 6'11 Wiggins over the 6'1 Badula. Yeah. That's why you push in transition, so you can immediately get the mismatch. Badula wraps it around. Nickel, another good look. His fourth three of the first half. Scary moment. MJ Collins is back on the floor for Tech. P.J. Hall is in the game right now with two fouls for Clemson. They bring the double. Pull-up shot is drilled. Chauncey Wiggins. Loki's best perimeter defender, we imagine, will not return for the first half. Padula jacks up a deep one with the first half 16. I mean, an eight for 13 start from deep for Virginia Tech, matching its largest lead at 10. Gerard, no Couture in the game, damn exactly. it, he got free. The next time down the floor, you're looking for some space. See if MJ Collins closes him off a little more next time. Padula goes around Hall, had to play it a little carefully with the two fouls. Sprained his foot against Louisville. It's been a lot healthier the last couple of games. Nickel gets the shooter's bounce and ties the career high with 16. Virginia Tech nearly with a half, 100 in the first half. And they're about to get 100. Long will take it, and Long is undercut dangerously oh. wow. after the assist by Padula. I don't think Hunter undercut him. I think he tried to hang on to the rim. He just lost. Two teams that are trying to snap two game losing streaks. Hall is back off the floor right now for Clemson, by the way, with two fouls. Godfrey with a strong drive and score. I mean, ball reversal twice. They get three sides of the floor. They haven't been able to defend, and they get a steal here. Final minute of the half. They'll work it inside to Shefflin, who had seven points early and gets his eighth and ninth there. Padula's had a spectacular first half. It continues! Hunter got caught in the air. Nickel tries to throw it off Wiggins, threw it to Wiggins, and Wiggins hits a three at the buzzer. Great hustle by Nickel and a good try, but right here to have the presence of time and score. That's good. Tyler Nickel starts the half, and why not for Virginia Tech? That ball stripped by Hunter, another Clemson steal. And this time, Dylan Hunter will finish his second basket. Joe Girard, a quiet first half. Only six points, made one field goal inside the hall. Shefflin grabs the short shot. And Shefflin with nine in that first half to lead Clemson. Gerard, guarded by Collins, leans in, couldn't get the contact or the basket. It's cleaned up by Hall. Hunter again has really caused havoc defensively in the first two and a half minutes of this half. Padula got it back, and Padula drains another three. He's five for six. That career high may last for all of four days at this rate. In jeopardy, that's for sure. Another shot fake by Hunter. He'll bank it in. Kid gets an early breather along with Barron. Long and Poteet off the bench for the Hokies. Hunter, catch and shoot. That was blocked by Long. Right to Shefflin, who spins and stuffs around Padula. I mean, watch Shefflin right here. He rolls hard to the rim. He knows the shot is short. He's got Padula on him. High. The extra time that those young men spend and women spend around helping the college basketball product be the best it can be. Hey, just like when Clemson, Virginia Tech's teams take the floor as Poteet slams. Collins has Hall switched onto him. Kid's got Wiggins, who's a lot more slender. Padula's got a three, his sixth, and he's one shy of a career high with 25. Jim, reject this, hit this triple right here. Beetle again into traffic, picked up by Padula. Hokies so lethal in transition, it's long! <laughs> Hall quiets the castle as third three. Padula left-handed, he scores it. A new career high for Sean Padula. 
27 points. And then reject the screen, straight line drive, down the lane line, switch to the left. I think the next time down, let's look for him to pop. Hall guarding Kidd, who's trying to hand it off for Collins. Collins drives it, Gerard was all there. Here's Beadle. Wiggins three is good. Clemson's ninth three of the game. Hunter, all slipping off the screen. Hunter takes it strong at the rim. The follow is there by Wiggins. I like the no call. Wall up at the rim. Good follow by Clemson. Gerard on Padula. Kid inside long. This time they don't miss at the rim. Gerard working around Collins. Extra pass, Wiggins for Beadle. Bounce inside, it's Gerard. Gerard closed down again. Hall inside, spinning away from Poteet. Shefflin on the offensive glass, lobs it over Poteet. Switch. Nickel steps in, Nickel elevates. Nickel scores it. That's a new career high with 18. That was awkward. Nickel. Cash. Tyler Nickel is having a night. On an offensive rebound. Clemson. Full 30. One for its last seven. Gerard trying to go behind his back. And Gerard rolls in a two. Who have not trailed since 6 5 and lead by 10. Clemson needs a heck of a late surge. Hall's miss is rebounded by who else but Shefflin and a chance for an old-fashioned three. Rebounds. Hall with a great look. You can see a sense of urgency right here. Nickel into Poteet with four to shoot. Out of the double. Extra pass. Robbie Barron. Yes, sir! Good ball movement by the Hokies. It's been longer than a 30-second possession now because of the kickball and the reset. Padula driving it on Hall, a shot blocked. It's picked up by MJ Collins. And the Hokie faithful rises to its feet. Inside, Poteet punishes for the punctuation. From a scoring perspective, the night of his life in college basketball. 32 points for Sean Padula. Virginia Tech remains unbeaten at home.